Hi, it's Paul from Wicked Acorn. Well, you've done gone and did it. We hit 1,000 subscribers, and as promised, we'll be sending one of these out to one of our lucky followers. We've been stuck in sale for a while now because of, you know, and that's not such a bad thing. You wouldn't believe the amount of brilliant stories we have right here on our doorstep. Here's a few highlights of what we've been doing. I'm standing on the site where the tail section of a Wellington bomber ended up on the night of August 3rd, 1943. It's not all stories of heroism, of course. The Industrial Revolution happened here, too. We took a deep dive into the canal, and I wanted to find out what this thing was and is for. It was the idea of this man, Francis Edgerton, third Duke of Bridgewater. When we first moved here, I understandably thought Brooklyn's was the land of brooks. You know, the body of water, a stream. Have you ever noticed the sail coat of arms? Why is there a badger on it? Ah, the good old days. We celebrated the anniversary of this sale landmark and found out how it survived the Christmas Blitz and the lion peeing all over the stage. And here in the Temperley Triangle, we'll try to solve the mystery of the bridge that goes nowhere. And thanks to one of our followers, we'll be coming back to this one. And we're still trying to figure out where the Crossford Bridge is. We don't need to call out rescue teams to be saving this silly Canadian from the River Mersey. About a dozen or so years before this bridge was built, there was a very big deal made about taking the canal across a river. And you see that different bit? over there. Barfoot Bridge Aqueduct over the Mersey. What story of sale would be complete without the Manchester Mummy? Well, we haven't finished that one yet, but we did find Dr. Charles White. We're back at St. Martin's Ashton upon Mersey. Fantastic. Red sandstone, isn't it? And that looks like newer brick there. We're walking along Hawthorne Lane here. They were to uh, provide smoke screen for Trafford Park, you know, building the Lancasters and all that back in the war. This is not some tourist attraction though. These are the real deal. But I have an idea that just might work. Now that's a referendum worth having. A lot of research goes into these stories, but we can't get it all right all the time. Bolin. Bolin? The River Bolin. There's a book I turn to whenever a story idea comes up. It's by Stephen Dickens called Sail Through Time. I'll put a link in the description. It's a good one for those expats and if you live here. Recommend it to your friends and don't forget to recommend this channel too. If you're bummed out because you didn't win the frame Manchester B print, don't worry, we make them right here in sale. Check the description for a link. So, uh, clue up apparently is a saying you guys don't have here. Uh, we come from a nautical nation. Well, this Britain is a nautical nation too, isn't it? But I think we have a much more uh, down-to-earth nautical nation. Clue up is an expression we use to uh, finish, tidy things up. I think the origin of it would be the bottom edge of a sail. So when you're finished your journey, you put the clue up, you know, in the, in the days of 
pulling the sails up. So when you finish, you clue up. A nice expression.